Hello and welcome to Muslims in Scotland. My name is Mohammed Al Zarik and I'll be finding out as much things as I can about the religion of Islam, not only educating you but also educating myself. I will be finding out the basics on Islam from what happens in a mosque to why the media today is portraying the religion in a negative manner. So without further ado, sit back, relax and enjoy the show. What's the first thing which comes to your mind when someone says Islam? Ramadan, basically. Uh, also maybe women covered. Modesty. A curry. Women and um, men that do not respect women. What do you think about the religion of Islam? I mean everyone's entitled to their own religion. I wouldn't have any opinions on a specific religion to be honest. In your, in your own words, how do you think the media is portraying Islam? Shocking. Shocking. I think if the media is uh, up in Donald Trump and portraying a whole religion, which has got billions of followers, as the evil thing, then um, the world's skewed. And basically every media is in the pockets of some rich lobbyist. It's tough. It's tough. There's people out there that are Muslims who are getting targeted by racial comments, physical abuse. Like, how would you feel if you were in their shoes? Like, if you got physically abused or racial comments thrown at you every single day of your life, how would you feel? Well, it's tough, and I don't want to make comparisons because it's not a comparison. But growing up ginger, it can be pretty tough. And uh, especially in a school where I was like only kind of ginger guy, you'd get it. And that's just a little snippet of what maybe someone goes through on a daily basis, and it's horrible. You get the fear of going to school, you get the fear of going to work, you get the fear to go outside your house because you don't know what's going to come. I think it's a terrible thing. And I hope up here, in this little secluded part of Scotland, it's not as bad and there are people a bit more tolerant. Allah Akbar Allah. Yeah, um, Ibrahim, how does it feel as a Muslim living in a Western country? It's different from a person to another person. It's based on how you perceive yourself and your identity. Uh, some Muslims, they believe they are British Muslims. So they are Muslims, they have their Islamic identity, they have their Islamic understanding and practicing. At the same time, they are British. So this is also their country. They believe that they belong to this country and they have loyalty as well toward the country. So they are, uh, you can say they have two identities. They are Muslim and they are also British. They have uh, uh, the Islamic values and, and understanding and the uh, practicing. They pray, they come to the mosque, the, uh, for women they wear scarf, um, they uh, celebrate Eid, the fast Ramadan. So you do the Islamic uh, main uh, practice uh, worship acts and they try to live Islam in their family life and family values and within the community and within the society. Recently, as you know, these letters that send, uh, many letters send uh, the day that they want, want to punish Muslims, you know, in April. And maybe you, you, you saw that. That's more in England. Actually, we are lucky here in Scotland that we don't have these things, like you don't see them, like in Aberdeen, very peaceful city, very uh, integrated society. And uh, there's a great level of tolerance and, uh, and understanding and respect yeah, in Aberdeen. What is, what's your main job as an imam of a mosque? Uh, generally, I will speak and then I'll speak uh, um, like, um, specifically about myself. But generally, Imam is a spiritual leader and guide, uh, guider uh, for the uh, society or the community. Uh, leading the prayers, that's just one of the duties. Uh, giving advice, uh, consultations, counseling, uh, co conduct marriages, uh, do chaplaincy, visit people in hospitals and in prison and visit people, the sick, in their homes uh, if they can't come to the mosque. Uh, they call it outreach, you know, and do society and community work. Um, 
and do work with the neighbors and other organizations, represent the society in other organizations, in conferences, in um, a workshop, in meetings, um, in uh, forums, and in, in uh, um, other activities. <laughs>